Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I know it's been like four whole weeks since I did an update. And today I have a few minutes to myself in the house to myself while I'm baking apple pie. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and um, give you all an update. Uh, I am in week 36. I just had my OB appointment yesterday morning and it went really, really well. Um, I had my group B strep whatever um, swab yesterday and um, I should have the results of that waiting for me in an email at some point because um, we can actually do that get uh, correspondence through email um, on the website and whatnot so I'm gonna check that today and see if the results came back I'm not expecting them to be positive um, I don't think I have anything like that because and none of nobody in my family ever has either but you never know could be that one one random person in the family um, symptoms since week 32 um, week 33, I started feeling the Braxton Hicks contractions, which I actually started getting really excited about because, I don't know, I guess in the back of my mind it's just being like, yeah, your body's doing what it's supposed to be doing, and you need to continue to have faith in it. So every time I have one, I kind of get a little excited that, you know, I can feel the tightening and the moving, and, and then he kind of goes all crazy and moves around a bunch. Um, but that's been really cool. He's moving all the time now. I feel most of his movements. Um, I think when I go for like three or four hours without feeling him, I think he's moving and I just can't be able to tell. Um, but he moves a lot. He moves for like a whole hour, hour and a half at a time now, which is kind of crazy. And my husband will try to like rub my belly or rub my leg or something, and I cannot have baby moving inside and then something moving on the outside of my skin. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So after he's been moving around for about an hour and Scott tries to touch me, I'm just like, don't touch me. <laughs> like, leave me alone. I have definitely been a little more irritable this week. I've definitely been stressed out. I'm feeling anxious, excited, nervous. Every emotion you can possibly imagine I've been feeling for the last few weeks. And it's put me very on edge. I get on edge driving. I get on edge when I'm around people, and I'm trying to be out and around people because that's part of the reason I'm here is to see my friends and my family and, and be active. And I get very easily overwhelmed with things, and I will snap or go off, and, and Scott handles me so well because he just doesn't add to it and he doesn't feed into it, and I'm able to go through it a lot faster. So he's been really, really great. Um... I'm definitely sticking out a lot more. I'm definitely more uncomfortable. The contractions are probably a few times a day, um, ranging in intensity from just a tightening to like a painful, stretching, pulling, weird feeling. Um, but he's measuring right on time, and the heart beats um, really great. And we got to talk to the OB about my birth plan and kind of see what her um, style is and ask her you know, what her style is and what her normal routines and procedures are. And I feel really good about this hospital um, because it is a baby-friendly hospital and everything's going to be done in the room. Um, and I feel really good about that. She's not pushing or pressuring us into anything. Um, and she did a lot to reassure me that, you know, I want you to have a happy, healthy vaginal delivery and I'm not going to push anything on you unless I believe it's absolutely life-threatening. And I was like, okay, that's awesome. So... Now, these last few weeks, I am just preparing myself for labor and pain and the intensity of it as best as I can, never having done it before. <laughs> um, so I'm picking out my CDs and my music, and I ordered my birthing gown, which I'm super excited about um, because I wanted something colorful, and, and I got a, a nice blue with like this really cool flower pattern. And that should be here next week, and I'm really excited about that because I wear way too much black and gray, and it's depressing. And right now, it's the only thing that fits. <laughs> so, yeah, that's been, yeah, exciting. Um, I physically, I feel great. I've been exhausted, like, I've, and food has been weird. I say weird, but it's probably normal for most pregnant women. But I think about food all the time, and I want to eat all the time, so I've had to really watch myself because I eat when I'm not hungry. I just want to stuff my face with calories. I um, And then after I eat, I get really, really hot and all my energy like just goes inward to digest food and I am exhausted. And I usually take a nap a day depending on what time I get up or how much sleep I got because I am peeing every two to two and a half hours 
all night. So whenever I get into a good REM sleep, I wake up and have to go pee. So that has not been exciting, and it's the same all day long, no matter how much or how little I drink. I tried not drinking at night, um, and I was still up every two and a half hours, and I was just really, really thirsty. So I was like, screw it. So every time I get up to pee, I drink like a whole glass of water because I'm just so thirsty. Um, what else? It's been exciting. My husband's getting excited. We're both getting really anxious to see his face. Um, I did have a baby shower. Most of the people at my baby shower do not want their pictures on Facebook, so I could not really do a video. I did get a bunch of pictures, and I'll post the ones that I can, that, that the people were like, yeah, you can put that on Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. But most of them don't want to be on YouTube or Facebook, so that kind of sucked. Because we did have a good time, and we played some games, and I did get some things that I needed. Um, but I had a really great time, and I got to reconnect with people, and that was really fantastic. And we, I should do a baby haul for y'all, but I don't think I'm going to get to that. Um, mostly because just the situation we're in is just not practical, and I'm probably not going to take the time to do it. And we're living out of, like, you know, all our baby stuff is in boxes in our room. Which, I will be doing a life update this week for you guys so that you kind of know my situation. Um, a lot of the source of my anxiety is you know, not living in the house that we bought in North Carolina and having renters and we're staying with my parents. And there's just anxiety that comes with that because it's not what I imagined. It's not bad by any means. It's just not, it's, I'm, I feel unsettled. There you go. I feel unsettled and uprooted after, you know, living there in North Carolina for like seven years and trying to readjust back here. It's been an adventure and it's been rather stressful. So, Lots of new things happening this entire entire couple of months trying to get acclimated. Also part of the reason I haven't done a video in so long because I am almost never alone and well, you know, they don't want to be on YouTube, so <laughs> and my husband doesn't even want to be on YouTube, so it is what it is. But let's see. We did do the name reveal at the baby shower. So we are going to name our son Tristan Alexander. And Scott and I really, really love the name and had decided it several months ago and everybody was anxiously awaiting to find out if we were going to say the name before the birth or not. So that's his name and I'm trying to call him by his name to kind of make the experience more real for me because I'm like, well, this baby has an identity and I need to call him by his name and I know what he is and it's November 1st, so he will be here hopefully this month. I'm really hoping that I am not pregnant on December 1st um, because I am getting very uncomfortable and I'm not sleeping and I'm waddling around everywhere and I can't, you know, tie my shoes half the time. So I'm very excited, but I'm very terrified. I'm terrified. I'm so terrified of the unknown, of not knowing, you know, how everything's really going to feel. And no I know no matter how many times... I read birth stories or hear about it or study it or know anything about it. It's not the same as experiencing it for yourself. So I'm trying to be kind of go with the flow. Our birth plan is very simple and it definitely hits on all the major points that most hospitals do. Um, and, and I just want to be able to go with the flow and have the support there to have a natural unmedicated, you know, birth. So we'll see. Um, I will do a life update for you guys so you kind of know a little bit more about our situation. If I do get some time to myself, I will do a little baby haul for you guys. Um, I'm in the process of trying to acquire some cloth diapers and some covers. If anybody has any links or information, I have been looking around all over for used cloth diapers. I have a bunch of pre-folds. Um, and I would really like some pocket diapers with um, snaps because the prefolds are going to be a pain in the butt uh, for where we are right now. And I really don't want to use disposables. So if anybody has any ideas or can hook me up with somewhere with really cheap diapers, please uh, put it in the link, put it in the comments so that I can go look at it. Um, but yeah, everything is going well and going smoothly. And I'm counting my blessings that everything is going well and that I'm healthy and baby's healthy and growing. Um, and I'm really excited to see him. I can't wait to see him. So I will keep you all updated and hopefully I'll get a chance to do this next week instead of a month from now because I would like to do some labor watch videos and I really want to have somebody taking pictures and or video of the delivery. 
But we'll see. We'll see if I can get the people to do it. Because I can't do it and I only have a phone. You know, so we will see. That is my hope to keep all of that, you know, on here for you guys and be a part of the community. So, I love you all. I will talk to you all soon. I hope you have a wonderful week. And hopefully I'll talk to you all next week. Bye.